இலங்கை ஒலிபரப்பு கூட்டுத்தாபனம் தமிழ்ச்சபை இரண்டு ஆகாசவாணி செய்திகள் வாசித்தது சரோஜ் நாராயணசுவாமி धरती फिल्म का गाना आप Welcome to this weekly podcast about musicians, film stars, directors and producers that either lived in India or have had an Indian connection from the 1940s until the 1980s. I hope you enjoy the podcast. The song Janaki Jane from the 1988 Malayalam movie Dhwani was composed and written by two gentlemen of Muslim faith sung by a Christian and is about Lord Rama This song was composed by Noshad written by Yusuf Ali Kecheri and sung by Yesudas The lyrics are so endearing and beautifully written in Sanskrit and it goes like this During our suffering you are our only friend only you can end our fear to cross to the ocean of samsara you are the only boat o Lord Rama the one who Sita knows so well Unfortunately so much of the content loses its beauty when translated Now take a trip back to 1936 A Jewish refugee composer a Parsi violinist composed a tune in the Raga Shivaranjini played every day at dawn in India and probably in the house of overseas Indians and indefiles Some of you must have guessed it by now It is the signature tune of all India radio This was composed by Walter Kaufman, a Jew, and played by violinist Mehali Mehta, a Parsi, for a radio station first founded by Professor M. V. Gopalaswamy. Mehali Mehta, incidentally, is the father of composer-conductor Zubin Mehta. Almost eight decades have passed since the composition of this piece. However, the lilting violin notes played over a tambura still manage to evoke a sense of longing. There is doubt if he created this melody solely as a signature tune for All India Radio or if it was part of a symphony he composed. However, the bottom line is that the music is Kaufman's and Mehali Mehta played the violin. No doubts about that. In his early days from 1927 to 1933, Walter Kaufman led opera productions in Berlin, Karlsbad and Eger, Bohemia during the summer months. He was also pursuing his PhD. The German university accepted Kaufman's dissertation on Gustav Mahler. Still, he declined to accept the doctorate after learning that his supervisor, Professor Gustav Becking, was the leader of the local Nazi youth group. He went to the post office to mail a letter declining the PhD and then headed to a travel agent. Kaufman recalls in his autobiography, "I carried this letter to the post office, went to the biggest travel agent, and bought myself a ticket to Bombay with the money I had received for the operetta I had composed." Boarding the Conte Verdi in Venice, he arrived in Bombay, where he stayed with a friend until he could secure more permanent housing. His first wife, Gertie Herman, a French instructor and niece of Franz Kafka, joined him shortly. It is reported that someone asked him why Bombay. He replied, "It was the easiest place to get a visa." After arriving in Bombay, his first exposure to Indian music took him by surprise. He soon realized that Indian music would take some time to learn. so he decided to sell his return ticket to fund his stay in any case he could not have returned to europe while fascism was in power so he remained in india for another 12 years until the end of world war 2 india ended up saving both his and his wife's lives they had a daughter whom they named katrina kaufman adapted to indian culture in a way few of his fellow expats could to survive he accepted a position as director of european music at all india radio in bombay at a meager salary He was in service from 1937 to 1946. When the All India Radio station first went on air, he wrote an opera called Ansuya to celebrate the inauguration. Although it had a European theme, the story was set in a fantastical Maratha kingdom. Kaufman also taught piano in Bombay. He was Zubin Mehta's teacher. Some folks under his leadership, including Mehli Mehta, founded the Bombay Chamber Music Society and established the Bombay Chamber Music Society, which performed every Thursday. Kaufman had a stint in Bollywood as well. Together with Mohan Bhavnani, Kaufman collaborated on films for Bhavnani Films and Information Films of India. His notable works include Musical Notations of the Orient, Notational Systems of Continental, East, South and Central Asia and the Ragas of North India and the Ragas of South India, a catalog of scalar material. They are archived in the Moldenhauer Archives in Spokane, Washington. the Houghton Library at Harvard University and the Kaufman Archive in the William and Gail Cook Library for Music at Indiana University 
While the Western world has largely forgotten the Czech Jewish composer, his music is still widely prevalent in India. According to an essay by Agatha Schindler, the Bombay Chamber Music Society performed several of his pieces from this period, including the Navaratnam, Ten String Quartets, Three Piano Trio, Indian Piano Concerto, Six Indian Miniatures, and Indian Concerto. Despite his many scholarly publications, and friendships with prominent thinkers like Albert Einstein, Franz Kafka, and Max Brod, Kaufman is often overlooked when discussing the history of Indian Jews or European Jews in India. The New Delhi Philharmonic Orchestra played a previously unheard piece by Walter Kaufman in 1995 at a symposium on Jewish exiles in India hosted by Dr. Georg Lechner of the Max Müller Bhavan. Walter Kaufman died in 1984, but his signature tune is still played every morning.